is up everybody, JSPH Games here, welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Rags to Riches. In the previous episode we were sorting out the flat underneath the shop, which may not be used a lot, but it is there. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do today because I'm not exactly sure. Off screen I have done a few things, I will admit I have done a few things. For example... Uh, Summer is now level 7 handiness skill and that allows her to be able to build tables at the crafting table. So now we have an actual dining room table in the dining room. Um, and we also can build chairs now. So I've built those as well. We've got chairs and a table. Oh, and I got rid of like off anything that's not ours that we can't build. Oh, for the chairs. So, like, we've now got four chairs at the table. We've got a chair at the PC desk ready to go. And we also have an end table that I have, uh, that Summer has built as well. So that's actually really cool that Summer can actually build most of the stuff we actually need for this household. At level eight, she gets to be able to build uh, musical equipment. And at level nine, she gets to be able to build a wooden I think it's either a wooden toilet or a wooden bathtub. And then level 10, it's the other one. It's either a wooden toilet or a wooden bathtub. It... Either way, I'd like to have both in a household. So I'm not... Uh, what I plan to do today is to sort of upgrade things around the household. But I'm not going to be planning to upgrade my toilet because I want the wooden toilet. And I'll upgrade that to make that amazing. Because, you know, that's cool. I, like, I just don't know what it is, but I feel like upgrading things would be rather cool. Uh, upgrading all the toilet, uh, the equipment would be rather cool in the household. We can't upgrade things, electronical things yet, because we're not level 9. Uh, level 9 handiness skill is what you need to upgrade things like, uh, oh, you, like your radio, your TV, your PC. To upgrade these things, you need to be level 9 uh, upgrade skill, so... I'm looking into those. I'll need to uh, get those up for parts. So I will. Oh yeah, I can also I can scavenge for parts, scavenge for parts now on some things too. That's cool. So I'm gonna order some parts. So where is it? Uh, handiness upgrade. You know. Oh, it's an order. Of course, it's an order. Right, order, purchase upgrade parts. All right, here we go. So what I want, I want some common upgrade parts. So I'll buy six of those. No, no, let's buy 10. Let's buy 10. Let's buy 10. And let's buy a couple of plumbing upgrades. And let's buy about five kitchen upgrades as well. So I spent like 850 quid there, but it'll be worth it. So now we've already got sturdy faucets, but we can now do plumbing. We can now do uh, self cleaning, and we can now do adding an auto soak dispenser, which is cool. We can also on the t on the shower. We I think we can add we can add massaging pulse heads, which is cool. On the fridge, we can add a reinforced door, a fresh maker, and a fridge of steel, which means it never breaks. On the cooker, we can, I've already gone and put a, a heat sensor in, which makes good food, and is now also dirt resistant. We can now also make it self-cleaning, and we can do that with the sink as well. So... Let's start by getting Summer to add pulsating massage jets to the shower. And then we can add, make Summer do uh, a auto soak dispenser on... No, no, not get water. Auto soak dispenser on both sinks. There we go. I mean, I wish it was like a washing up liquid in uh, dispenser in the kitchen sink because the fact is, you know, it's the kitchen sink. You're not going to be washing your hands in that. You're going to be doing dishes. And then we can also make a... So fresher ingredients means better meals. Hmm. So what's a door do? 
It makes the fridge break less often. No. Oh. Okay. Well, fresh maker then. That's what I need. So I'm going to get... We're going to get this done. We're going to get speedy because it would be much more easy to get speedy for this. I'm not actually sure what else to do really with this series because like... I've realised that like gardening is the way to go. Gardening is like the way to go to get things. Like once you've got, got your gardening skill up enough, you are going to get everything that you want to do with this. Uh, you're going to be able to get everything you need to do with this uh, with uh, with money. Was like gardening gets money. Snapdragons, dragon fruit. If you can get your fishing skill up and get and get dragon fruit and then be able to grow a dragon fruit plant and then grow several more dragon fruit plants like you are gonna gain so much money i could super sell and get like 50 uh, 50 grand right now in fact bryson should do when he gets up he should actually super sell and get like 50 grand that's something i should do okay so you have completed your sturdy faucet uh you completed your auto soap dispenser and you completed your shower head thing so now, I want you to add self-cleaning to these things. And then you can add self-cleaning to the cooker as well. Oh, there we go. And you speed up through the whole thing. So now we have uh, a soap dispenser. And now you're making the fresher, the fresher device that makes... Uh, the freshing the fresher maker so that we have uh, more fresh food which is great are we going to be out of upgrade parts to do the rest of this now uh, yeah we are out of we are officially out of upgrade parts we need one common we need some more upgrade parts we're going to need some more upgrade parts to do the rest of this. But that's fine. That is absolutely fine. I will upgrade the rest of these when I have time. But I could just upgrade. I could just order more parts. So can I. I can still upgrade this. So that means I. So that means I need. Uh, so I need. Two kitchen upgrade parts. And one common upgrade part. No no no. Four com so I need a lot of common upgrade parts and so at least about six common upgrade parts and we're out of parts all right fine okie dokie so let's order some more parts Order upgrade parts. Alright, so we need some more common upgrade parts. So let's go for another 10. And two kitchen upgrade parts. So now do self cleaning. You go to the toilet. Buy a wedding arch. No, I don't want you to buy a wedding arch because I know the wedding, I know the romance festival will be in town eventually. It has not been in town yet, but like it will be in town eventually, and that means that I will be able to use that uh, in order to get them married. So that is the plan. I will get them married eventually. It's just I'm going to do that. So we also have a barbecue area out here. Little barbecue area. It's nothing big, but like I wanted to add something out here. So now we have a little barbecue area. And of course, also since it's outside, I always like to put a smoke to spend, a smoke alarm, and a kit uh, and the plumbing thing here, because just in case there's a fire, just in case there's a fire, I always like to do that. Huh. Just like it's an actual kitchen. Uh, no, thank you, Liberty. Do not want to go to the gardens right now. Oh, you actually are going to cook. You actually are going to cook on the stove. Okay. What are you cooking anyway? You are cooking chicken. All right, you're going to grill grill our chicken. Then. 
and you are doing the stove. Uh, you're making the stove self cleaning, which is great. Um, can you reinforce the uh, reinforce the door? And I need to order more parts, don't I? Yeah, I need I need more parts. God damn it! I need one more. Po I wanted one more part. I wanted one more kitchen upgrade part in order to do what I was buying. In order to make the fridge of steel, because I can't build a fr I can't get a wooden fridge, which is annoying. But like, this is actually been it's actually rather good to do all these upgrades to make sure everything is brilliant. Like we're almost level eight kit. Are we almost level eight kitchen skill? I mean, handling a skill now. With summer, we are literally almost level eight. Ninety four percent, ninety five percent, almost. Really, almost level level eight. Sorry if someone's hearing drilling. Someone's working on stuff downstairs. It's annoying. Please stop working. Uh, please stop doing house. We stop doing building whilst I'm recording. People have no courtesy for uh, for Joe's BH Games, do they? Of course, they probably don't know who Joe's BH Games is, but like that's not the point. They should have courtesy for Joe's BH Games and realize that like I'm recording, I get priority. Put in that fridge. Okay. Huh. I believe like once you get like. There we go, level 8. Not bad. So now I can craft instruments from the woodworking table. That's cool. And I think like the guitar, if you sell the guitar, it gets you like 1200. Or something like that. So I craft instruments from the woodworking table. Provided that uh, this, uh, provided that she is skill level eight at playing that instrument too. Oh, so I gotta, I gotta be able to play the instrument and have the skill level to actually have the instrument. Uh, oh. Okay. I didn't read that bit of the guide. I did not read that bit. I thought like I could just buy instrument, uh, build instruments. I didn't realize I had actually had the musical gr musical skills too. That's annoying. <laughs> that is very very annoying. I thought I actually had all the skills I needed to actually build instruments, but I do not. I do not have the skills I need to build instruments. It's weird how you have to come all the way in to do that. Just to wash a dish. But that's okay. And can you go and work out? But I did build another treadmill just for you. Because you're like handiness your fitness skill is like level two at this moment in time. But it's not. It could be better. Go and work out. So summer is upgrading stuff. She's tired. Oh, I should probably get her to go to bed. All right, this is going to be the last thing she upgrades for now. She's going to up. She's going to reinforce the door on my uh, fridge, and then you are going to go to bed. Sleep. And then I will probably get Bryson to uh, do a, a few things. Like for example, I'd like to get Bryson to clean up because there's a little bit of a puddle here. And then you... Oh, you also need the toilet. Go to the toilet, please, and then go to bed. But first, clean and finish the door. Finish the door. Come on. There we go. There we go. You finish the door. And now you can go to bed. And then in the morning, we will make a fridge of steel. Because we have enough pom we have enough parts. To make a fridge of steel. Did 
did he do the shower? Did he, had, did, did he have a shower? Because he didn't look like he had a shower. He just stood outside with his towel on. It just, maybe it just lagged there. Because he did have a shower. Can you clean up that puddle and then go back to painting your painting? Yeah, clean up the puddle first, please. And then you can go back to painting your painting. You turn that off. There we go. Kitchen is nice and clean now. Now you can go back to painting. Good work, Bryson. I'm going to try and get Bryce. I'm going to try and work on Bryson's like uh, uh, gardening skills over the next couple of days to make sure that Bryson is up to level on his gardening skills. Because if we can get these plant, if we can upgrade these plants, uh, keep on getting these plants up to levels where they can upgrade, should be rather good. But if we just keep on build, uh, just keep on selling them every couple of days, because look. Look at this. Supercell. I can make 56 grand. I sell 220 dragon fruits, 10 apples, 10 lemons, 44 strawberries, 13 blackberries, some potatoes, and some bluebells as well. But I get. I sell. I make so much from that. So it's just. It makes so much sense to actually just do the gardening and everything else is not important the shop idea was pretty cool and it worked it worked for a bit but like gardening is the way to go if you want to make money in this if you want to make world money in the sims gardening gardening is the way to go i do like his paintings though they make pretty things to put up in the house and you can also sell them at the shop so that's cool but like gardening it's always been the way to go, and it always will be. I don't know if I want to make these Sims have kids. That's one of the things I'm looking, uh, I'm looking into right now because, like, if I was to do it, I'd have to, I'd, I'd have to turn their bedroom into sort of like half uh, this bedroom into sort of like a corridor with a stairwell. Add the actual proper bedroom upstairs and. Uh, turn this into like the kids room or something like that or turn this into the kids room and have this as the little living area Ooh. Bryson's just gonna be a masterpiece that's worth over two grand Bryson you are amazing get that in get that in there that'll be amazing to sell that will be amazing to sell at the shop because eventually we will go back to the shop. What are you doing? Oh, you're playing Sims. Hey, he's playing Sims. I'm playing Sims. <laughs> um, Summer is... She's still tired. Okay. And Bryson... Uh, maybe I can get you... You know what? Let's do it. Uh, Supercell. Supercell. There we go. 58 grand. And we only sell the things around us. So that's rather... Interesting. Can you now sell the rest of these things, please? Yeah, sell the rest of these things now, please. Because, like, look how much money we just made for doing that. And that sells, like, literally everything there. And then now super sell all these things over here, please. And then I want you to spray area for books. So we have books. And then you can weed. Weed that plant, please. 
That's everything. That is literally a whole garden cell, and we've just made a hundred. We have now got a hundred and twenty-three grand. Spray area for books. And it is that plant? It is that plant there. I knew I had books, but I wasn't sure which plant it was that had books. Look how much money we make just from doing that. Just from selling stuff in the gardens. I mean, yes, yeah, sure, I'm still looking for a ch I'm still trying to figure out how to make those cherry trees grow in Windenburg. Because I know that I've seen the cherry trees in Windenburg and I need to make them grow somehow, but I don't know exactly how to do it. Because I've looked at them a few times and they just don't grow. I'm going to... I think I might try and get Bryson to go out there again today and see if uh, what's going on with those flowers. Uh, see what's going on with them. So, once he's done his gardening, I will do that. Alright, so you're done with gardening. You are going to travel. You're going to travel by yourself. And we are going to see what the hell is going on with the flowers in Windenburg. By the way, uh, since, uh, where I'm recording right now, 25% um, off Sims 4 Vampires. I might get it. I actually might get it. When I'm recording right now, we are almost near Halloween. So right now, it is 25% off Sims 4 Vampires. So I might get it and I might have vampires in the next episode. You can let me know what you think of that in the comment section down below because it's a pack. It's not the pack I... It's not maybe a pack I want, and I'm not sure what adding vampires to the world is going to do to uh, my series, but um, I kind of just want to... I, I kind of just want to try and complete the set uh, when there's chance... Or complete... Get a few more sets when they get the opportunity to. Because, you know, lower prices and everything, and I actually have moved... I have a bit of money at this moment in time in reality. So I might do that. All right, so we're back at the Shrieking Llama. Pause. All right, we are back at the Shrieking Llama. Uh, there's my cherry trees, but they don't grow. I don't know what to do about that. They just don't. They just don't grow. I. Uh, I was told by someone that if I if I view them, they will grow. But I'm not exactly sure if that's true or not because I've viewed them several times and they still haven't grown. So I don't know what the hell's going on here. I wish I'd find like other cherry trees. Because these are like the only ones I've found so far. because uh, they're the only ones I can see in the outer world, so it would be great if they could actually grow. Oh, because I need them to grow so I can get cherries. There must be other places in the world where I can get cherry trees. Maybe if I, like, go around... Uh, maybe if I try... Because I didn't, tr I didn't try to go through a few other places. Let's let's travel with you. Okay, so we've travelled through Windenburg and barely got anything. Let's go to. We can try and go to the Mongolia, uh, the this paradise here, this shopping estate. But it's only like a lot of shopping places. But it might have like it might have plants and stuff. Let's go and see what actually these shops have. Yeah, let's go and do it. Let's go and see what these shops have. Because I've never been to this place. I know I've had this uh, outlet for 
you know, this village for a bit, but I, I've never been here in my entire uh, in my entire collection of being uh, playing The Sims. I've never been here. Okay, so this looks like it's a toy shop. Yeah, this looks like a toy shop. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it's not important. Is there anything upstairs? No, nothing upstairs at all. Uh, these look like other kinds of shops. Uh, is there anything else here? I am looking for anything interesting at all. There's, there's a place for like a fish. It's not really interesting. No, there's literally nothing out here. There's a big sailing, sh there's a big powered boat, but like you can't go on the big powered boat. Can you examine the water here? See what we need to go fishing here. There is one thing I want to do when I get the opportunity to, which is visit the hidden world. So there's certain like weird, like, there's certain weird hidden worlds you can get to in uh, from very special ideas. So I definitely want to visit the hidden worlds eventually. So that might be a thing we might have to do. Uh, so maybe, so go and examine the water. And then we'll try and see what these other shops have because that's just a toy shop. We don't need to go in there. I'd like to see what these other shops have. Maybe one of them is, maybe one of them is clothes. Maybe one has other things too. We'll see in a minute. Go and examine the water. And then we'll get Sim to travel to the shops and see what I, they have here. But as gardening equipment, that as a uh, shops that actually could be useful to me, not really. Okay, so, so there's quite rare catches out here. Okay. Fish, like a fish with bait. Fish with bait. Okay, so if I fish with a medium fish, maybe like a Oh. My fish are not very good right now. Just fish with snapdragons. I'm gonna no, I'm gonna sell these fish because they are they are not they are foul. Sell fish. And sell the apple too. I found an apple in one of the fishing pools I had back at home. Not useful. Travel here with... We'll see about traveling. And then we'll travel to the next shop and see what they have there. Okay, so I just got a cow plant berry. That's not helpful. I'll sell that because that's not helpful to anyone. And I could guess I could throw it, but I don't want to. I don't want to grow cow plant berries. Because they're dangerous and I don't want to do anything that can kill sims. Cow plant berries can kill sims. If you're careful it can't kill sims, but like I don't want to, have to, to I don't like dealing with constant death. I mean death at my door is always scary. As much as this would be a great way to end a series, <laughs> I'm not doing that. I am not doing that. 
I'm guessing like flowers would also work as well as a good way to get money. Like you know, if you can get like the rare flowers, like orchids and stuff like that, like death flower. Because I'm not exactly sure what they do. You gonna put fish? We level seven fishing now, almost. Let me take a look at this. Fishing. I am almost level seven fishing. Hey, got a trout. Got a trout. Cool. Uh, can I? Right. Okay. So. Now I want you. Let's see what other shops we have here. Do we just wish we didn't have to use the loading screen to go back to the main screen now? Because I want to see what other shops we have here in this uh, this paradise. This shopping estate. So, this is a clothing shop. Oh, square. Uh, so, out here we have accessories, and there's a few mannequins that have clothes. And then, up top we have a few more shirts and stuff like that. Okay, so this is very much a clothes shop. Okay. And the final shop at this shopping estate is a what? I wonder if it's possible to make a... I wonder if it's possible with the right amount of upgrade... Uh, with the right packs, you can make a supermarket. That'd be cool to do one day. To try and make a, uh, to try and make a supermarket in Sims 4. Like a test... Like test... Like Tesco's, for example. That'd be cool. To make Tesco's inside Sims 4. That'd be cool. So is this an everything shop? Because it's got... It's got clothes over here. Oh, it's a fitness shop. It's got athletics clothes and stuff like that. It's a fitness shop. That's what it is. It's a fitness shop. And it's a bit. It's got. A, it's got furniture too. So it's a foot. So it's got furniture this side, and then fitness the other side. Okay. Not important, but I like the idea of this. I like the idea of these shops. Right. Um. You can go home now. Because coming out here was not a good idea. We'll have to try Newcrest eventually. I we'll have to try Newcrest and see if they got an, uh, see what they've got around. Mostly, it's just empty lots out there, but like, it might be interesting to look at. By the way, if you have any like lots or families that you want to put on this, uh, that you want me to put in the series, let me know in the comment section down below, like your Sims IDs and stuff like that. I might actually look into them because I want to. Uh, I kind of want to like fill up a few of my empty lots with like people from the people from the gallery and stuff like that so if you have like interesting families in the gallery i will definitely put them in the game they may like they may even help me especially if like you've got a lot that has like gardening you know like, lots that have like a fully formed cherry tree on and stuff like that that'd be cool and, and tomato plants and yeah, I suppose that's all cheating, but like I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, technically, I'm already, I'm already doing some cheats already, so it's not horrible to do that. Oh, bills are due, and I owe eight hundred and forty-six quid. Ah, that's a lot of bills. Pay your bills, although well, although we we make a lot of money, so it doesn't really matter. If we, uh, if our bills are quite expensive, but we make our money, we make a lot of money really quickly. 
What are you doing, Summer? Hey, Summer. Make a fridge of steel. And you are eating. Good. You need a toilet as well. So do that. And you are... No, no, no. I'm... Would you mind actually do it? Eat, Eat your grilled chicken. You actually need a wee first. Go and, go and have a wee and eat your grilled chicken. Huh. Okay. You've had you've gone to the toilet. Now you're going to go and wash your hands, and then you go back to your grilled chicken. You go back to your grilled chicken. So now we have fancy soap, which makes uh, him happy. Cool. That's actually got for cool. Yeah, fancy uh, the fancy oh, soap one uh, huh? makes him happy. That's cool. So eat your chicken, and then go and maintain the shape on the bonsai tree. And what are you doing? I mean, well, how are you doing on the uh, fridge of steel upgrade? You're doing pretty well on the fridge of steel upgrade. Good. My fridge will be unbreakable. Apparently you're flirty, so you make f flirty heart cookies. Cool. But do your job. There we go. Upgrade complete. Uh, upgrade complete. Nice. So now you have got all the upgrades to the fridge. So now everything should go up rather nice. Every, all the food should be nice. We got all the upgrades for the shower. All the upgrades for the sinks. All the upgrades for the ovens done. We are now level 8 handiness skill, which means we can maybe... No, 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 we still need to be level 9 to do all those things. Oh wait, we can. With two common upgrade parts, I can build, make better components for our radios. Oh, cool. And can I do anything with the PC? Uh, up, uh, handiness upgrade. Uh, four common up Ooh. Uh -huh. with four common upgrade guards I can make I can get some RAM nice you know what order upgrade parts let's do this so I need I'm gonna need a lot of common upgrade parts to do this so let's go with 12 all right order uh, Let's go for handiness and give me some RAM. And you're going to bed, okay? Give me, give me some RAM. Put some RAM on this PC. Make this make this game make this PC faster, like I need to do with my PC. You don't seem to be doing it. Um, there we go. Now you're doing it. It just took a bit of time for it to load in. Bryson, would you mind getting up so you actually go to bed properly? Don't just lie on the bed and think that's going to be enough to go to sleep. Oh, you're uncomfortable. Um no. Is it? the Humor Hydrix Festival is in town? That's not the festival I want. That is not the festival I want. 
Although I have been to that festival before and it's actually pretty interesting, but no, it's not the festival I want. I want... I want the Romance Festival to be in town. You are really uncomfortable. Right, go to sleep. But the chair says comfort too. No. You're both tired. You both need to go to sleep. Chess is comfort too, but his family is not comfortable. Maybe if my handiness skill is up and my mood is better, I can make better chairs. No, Dominic. I might try that. I actually might try that. If mood is, if her mood is better, she might make better thing. You know, her, her mood is better. She might make better things. It might work out better. So I might try that in there. Summer needs to go to the toilet. Go to the toilet. You don't have to tell me you need to go to the toilet. Just go. And then... Gets... No. Finish using the toilet. Finish using the toilet. You just stop in the middle of going to the toilet because I tell you to do something else. You do the thing you do. You do the thing and then... You go and do other things once you're done with the thing. Because the toilet is important. And then... Get some leftovers. There we go. So do I get an upgrade? So... Now that we've cooked things, use. Now we've cooked things using the uh, fridge and stuff like that. Does that change anything with our food? I have to say in there. Right. So you're pretty happy, which is great. I'm going to let you finish your food before you continue on. Finish your food. Finish your food, go on. And then we will see about this table. And oh, Bryson, you are hungry. Soup. You can get some food. Okay. Now you, craft furniture, craft me a chair. You're in a pretty good mood. You need some fun, but you're in a pretty good mood. So listen to, listen to Spooky, it's Halloween. So I wanna see if you can make the chairs any more comfortable. Because that PC chair, if it's gonna be used a lot, it's gonna to need to be a bit more comfortable than Comfort 2. Or is that the best you can do? Let's see. Uh, can you fertilize with things? Okay, there's literally someone constructing outside now. That's annoying. Can you fertilize? Is 
see if that helps the freshness of things. Uh, fertilize with snap dragons. All right, so he has made a chair. Let's go into the build mode and see what that chair is like. So, chair. No, nope, still comfort too. Still comfort too. The chair is still comfort too. Which means, in other words, I don't think I can make my chairs any more comfortable uh, from doing the construction. I can just make. I can make stuff, but I can't actually make it any more comfortable, which is annoying. That is actually kind of annoying. I think I might be able to make things a bit more comfortable. But I cannot, no. But at least, I mean, it's kind of comfortable. But the most comfortable chair I'd need to have would be to have the level would be this one. Look at that. Look how confident and look how comfortable that. Although that one's more comfortable. Level two of the secret agent career. Or level seven of the astronaut career. Sadly I do not have those skills. So I'm just gonna buy this regular chair. For 185 quid. Hey, where's our sofa? comes to comfort. Uh, sofa. Mega sofa is not comfortable at all. Um, I can aff probably afford to get a more comfortable sofa. Yeah, I probably should afford a more comfortable sofa. So I can get that one. This is the outdoor sofa. It's comfort five. Is that the most comfortable sofa we can afford? This one's comfortable seven, but it's 950 quid. It's nice and all, but it's, it's expensive. Now we got the money. So far. We've got the money. It's fine. Look at how beautiful that thing is. Um, can we make it a different colour so it fits in with the room? There we go. I think the red one fits in with this room as well. And then... There we go. That's... I think that's all we can do. Yeah, all right. What's the, what's the bed then? Bed is uh, energy four, discomfort relief one, stress relief one. Okay. That's the bed I've, I've got that bed some, in one of my, in one of my, I think they've got like this bed, this one, that one I love. Then one of my other families have got this one. Stress relief 10, for comfort 10, energy 10. This is like, that is an amazing bed. That one's an amazing bed too, but it's 12 grand. That's a pretty good bed. But I don't really feel like I need, I don't think I need to worry about that. Anyway, this is where I'm going to end off today's part. I know we didn't get a lot of progress done, but like basically, once my garden is back, is I think the garden is the garden like ready to go again? It is. My garden is ready to go again. I can literally super sell everything, and it would uh, basically. Give me 54 grand. That is not bad. That is not bad. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to make them... They need to talk and stuff like that. Hopefully in the next episode, I'm going to advance a few days and see if the Romance Festival is in town. If the Romance Festival is in town, 
we're going to get these two married. Yeah, we're going to get these two married if the Romance Festival is in town. We may even also get them to try for a baby as well. But until next time, I am JSPH Games, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Also, follow me on Twitter at JoesPH Games, where you'll find out when I upload next. Also, if you want to see some more videos, there should be some in the top right and top left hand corner of this end card. So, until next time, I'm JoesPH Games, and I am out. See you again.